Alright, so now that the black water tank behind me is pretty much finished, other than a few chocolate garamis, it's time for me to move on to my next projects that I have in mind. So I've got two of them in mind, um, I'm going to run through them with you today and we'll go from there. So I was going to take you all outside and show you the aquarium I was going to use, but as you can see, she's fear honking down. Hopefully it stops soon and I'll go out there and take a decent video of it. Alright, so although it's pouring down outside, I can still tell you about the actual project that I had in mind. So there's two of them. Uh, first of all, I was looking at doing a zebra danio tank, um, maybe 20 or so of them in a long uh, maybe meter 900 long tank and I wanted to fill that up with uh, rounded rocks towards the back uh, really long area going curving over the back with lots of good flow going across it uh, possibly some dwarf Sagittaria at the front of that and some Apani wood which is a really nice uh, two-toned kind of color it's a light brown and a dark brown and so really trying to emphasize that kind of really relatively high flowing river that the zebra Daniels will really enjoy uh, maybe a red lotus or something similar on one edge just to give a little bit of color not entirely sure about that but a bit of red always goes down a treat so the second option i had was i wanted to do silver mollies i think they're fantastic little fish so a group of silver mollies and a tank full of various species of anubias um i thought that'd be quite good to sort of layer it from the my hands are kind of in the way from the front to the back for the smaller to the higher and then full of the silver uh, mollies I think that'll be quite a cool look in aquarium so those are the two ideas of what I have for projects for coming up and as soon as it stops raining I'll show you the two tanks that I've lined up to do that with so this is one tank uh, this is the one that I was thinking about doing the silver mollies in um, it's 150 liters 900 long about 400 deep however I bought it I bought it an absolute deal super steel I was really stoked with it but uh, I left it in the car for a few days and unfortunately I cracked it, but don't tell the missus that because she told me to get out of the car as soon as I got it home. And I said, yeah, 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 I'll do it when I get around to it and serves me right. So that is the first project. Um, I am not going to fix the tank myself. I just don't have the time to do it. So I've rung the local aquarium builder in Nelson. He runs Tanks A Lot Aquarium Services and he's going to come around and fix it up for me today or maybe tomorrow because it's raining. But that's the first tank that we're looking at doing and I'll take you to the next one. So because I'm getting the tank repaired, I thought why not get some lower iron glass. I probably won't show it up on, on the video, but this is ultra clear glass. Um, so it's got low iron, so most aquarium glass or most glass in general has like a green tint to it. This has got less of a green, so it's far significantly clearer. Often a lot of the really expensive reef tanks that you buy from stores and stuff have the, the low iron glass. I would assume things like the ADA aquariums will also be low iron so it's taking away a bit of the green and making it more crystal clear I'm not sure if it's going to make much of a difference being this size but hey why not getting it repaired making a display tank so i thought i might as well do it properly so this is the piece that is going to be replaced with so fingers crossed it looks nice and shiny when it comes and it gets done and so this is the tank that i thought would be quite suitable for the danios it's quite long it's just over a meter long it's quite narrow but I reckon 20 odd Danios going from one side to the other zipping through this would be quite cool. It's made of quite thick glass, it's 8 or 10 mil, I can't remember quite off the top of my head. Um, it's actually a really nice tidy aquarium, it was meant to be used for a refugium, um, but that never happened for me. So I'm going to set it up as a tank. Um, I'm thinking if I make the background really white or really light so it looks like it's almost see-through type clear, I think that will really suit it with some nice bright green plants and a bunch of danios so that's the idea behind this one nice and long not too high so the velocity might grow a little bit too high but then I like I said I wanted it to go across like that so I think it'll work quite well as well so this is the uh, danio tank to come up next all right so Steve from tanks a lot aquariums here in Nelson has been in and he has replaced my front bit of glass for me so I'm pretty happy with that so we're just letting the uh, silicon go off once it's gone off, I'll give it a water test and fingers crossed we're good to go. So I'm fairly happy with that. So we are now got two tanks available for both the projects. I just don't know which one's going to come first. Mm -hmm. 